is uh, Dalgona coffee. My girlfriend showed me how to make it. It's basically just like sugar and coffee. It's really terrible for you probably, but it tastes very good. So if you guys are interested in some new coffee, check out Dalgona coffee. It's not like a brand. It's like a type or like a way to make coffee, but it's fantastic. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the video today. As you can tell from the title, if you read it, we're going to be talking about my desk setup. Basically what I use every single day, especially now that it's quarantine. I'm in here like 90% of the day. So I figured it'd be kind of cool to talk about it, show you what I got, show you how I use everything, and maybe you can get some ideas, maybe you can give me some ideas. And uh, yeah, let's just jump into it. is the desk setup. I'm in here most of the day, especially with quarantine. This is like where I live. And I've spent a lot of time planning this thing out. I have a lot of ideas for the next office and desk that I do, but this is how it is for now. It works perfectly for me. And I actually run two systems. So the first system that I run is gonna be, uh, I'll talk about this one actually. My main workhorse is a 2016 something, uh, MacBook Pro. Retina, blah, blah, all that stuff, like the little touch bar, that's super annoying and stupid. But that is my main workhorse that I run most of the day. Another way that this is set up is I'm actually running two 27 inch 4K Dell monitors. I have one horizontal, one vertical. The vertical one is really different for a lot of people. I run this because I'm a programmer, so I can read a lot more code vertically than I can horizontally. So it makes sense to have this. I've also seen a lot of people use this for their Twitch, uh, Twitch chats. So if you're a streamer, uh, try out the vertical monitor. It might be kind of cool for you to be able to read your chat through there. Now, along with this MacBook, I also run, if you guys have seen any of my other keyboard review videos, you'll know this is my baby. I love this thing so much. This, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen's, is my HyperX Alloy Origins Core 10 keyless keyboard that I absolutely love so much. I do still run the Magic Mouse with my setup, Again, it is a MacBook, so don't hate me too much. And then as you can see, I use a mic stand. This is literally like a $20 mic stand I got off Amazon. Uh, it's nothing special, it squeaks. Maybe. I don't know, sometimes. Uh, but yeah, it was like $20. It's awesome, it works fine. It just like kind of clamps to the desk right here with a little twisty thing. And then it uses actual springs, like it's really cheap. But it holds my Audio-Technica 2020 or AT2020 microphone. This is not a XLR microphone. This is a USB mic. All of this stuff. Oh, also, I have a webcam. It's like a Logitech's like HD C920 or whatever. It's awful, but a lot of streamers use it. I just use it for video conferencing, basically. But anyways, all of the stuff I just showed you, everything here is connected to my laptop through this single cable right here. That is not a joke. This is the thing. That one cable powers this entire setup. And it does that by using this dock back here. That is an OWC Thunderbolt 3 dock. And basically it allows me to have a command center through a single cable. I get a ton of USB ports. I get SD card slots, HDMI, display port, all that. Literally everything to display to imp for input, everything is through that dock. It is crazy. It works extremely well. It's also very expensive. That's like a $400, $500 dock. It also needs its own power supply because that's just how intense that dock is. And as you can see, normally, well, I have a smoothie, but my desk is normally like extremely clean and minimal. I like the least amount of things on my desk as possible, which is why this is awesome because I can just like bother my girlfriend and put it on her side if I don't want to deal with it. The only thing on here that really has a cord besides my laptop, which needs it, is my keyboard. And I talked about this in one of my other videos, but if you're looking for a good mechanical keyboard that's reliable, you're really gonna have a hard time finding a wireless one. So I just ended up going with the wired one. It's the one compromise I made, but it's the only wire on my desk. An upgrade that I really wanna make soon is with this guy right here. This is like an iPad mini or something. It's like the older gen, so it can't run sidecar. If you're not familiar, sidecar basically would let me turn this into a second monitor. Um, can't do it because it's too old. So I definitely wanna upgrade my iPad pretty soon here. And that's the main gist of my work computer, I guess you could say. I do a lot of other stuff on this computer, a lot of personal projects, that kind of stuff, but 
the main reason for this computer even existing here is for work as my, you know, my software development job. However, 5 p.m. baby, or weekends, or days I have off, or vacation, basically anytime I'm not working in here, I'm gaming. So let me show you how I do that, because it's pretty cool. I go over here, no, I'm totally kidding. This is my girlfriend's setup. She just does her own thing over there. I never do anything over here. This is all for her. For gaming, all I do is I come back here, I swap out this HDMI cord, or that display cord, display port cord with one from this guy, and then I switch over my cables here. So I have two cables. I have a black one and a gray one. The way I remember how to do this is black is Mac, Mac, and gray is gaming. So when I wanna use my Mac, I plug in the black. If I wanna game, I plug in the gray. And that's all I have to do to switch over to my gaming desktop. I'll do it real quick. Okay, so I just switched it over, switched out the DisplayPort cable, plugged in the gaming USB-C cable, and we're good to go. Now you might be wondering, well, how do you use your mouse? Because this mouse is still on, if I can find it, where are you? This mouse is still on this display. I simply grab my gaming mouse, and we're good to go. So for my gaming mouse, I have a Logitech G602 wireless uh, mouse. So it has, you know, buttons on the side. It has two different settings for performance mode and like normal mode. And then you got your uh, DPI switches right there to change the sensitivity. And this mouse has been absolutely perfect for me in every way. People are like, well, it's wireless, latency, lag, blah, blah, it's gonna disconnect. I've been using this mouse for six months now, roughly. I have not hit a single disconnect, not a single interruption. You just gotta make sure you're watching your batteries because it, it is battery powered. But other than that, like I have had zero connection problems with this mouse ever. It is actually way better than I thought it would be. I thought I might have a little bit of problems. Zero. I would recommend that mouse for anybody looking to have a wireless one, a little bit less clutter on your desk, which is always a plus for me. And I know a lot of people value that as well. So check out the G602 if you're looking for that. Oh, and then I guess the other side of that too, if I do wanna use my mic, I have to unplug the mic. So if I do wanna use my mic for not gaming, because 90% of the time it's plugged into my gaming computer, I will have to unplug it from there. It's a USB, so I'll just unplug it and plug it into the dock, and then I'll be able to use it on my uh, MacBook setup. But if I take a step back here, you can see that generally the setup is pretty clean. I like to keep very little things on the desk I do have some stuff hidden back here, so like an extra phone, some chargers, coasters for my smoothies. There's a nice little setup here. I think it's important to have like a cool, uh, you know, personal part of the setup. I don't, I hate minimal, completely white person, like no personality setups. I don't like those at all. So I try to put a little bit in there, you know, camera rack over there. I won't get too much into that. It's all in my office tour. If you all haven't seen that, go check that out. I do give you this whole office tour tell you all about everything in the drawers all that kind of stuff but one last thing i'll talk about inside this computer this is a really cheap mid-level build do not need anything fancy for what i'm doing it's a radeon 590 sapphire special edition 8 gig, 16 gigs of ram and a ryzen 5 2700x really really basic mid-level stuff but again i don't really need anything fancy for what i'm doing everything i play valorant borderlands call of duty fortnite it all works on that computer and that's pretty much my entire desk setup, what's on my desk, what I use every single day. Um, yeah, I'm always trying to improve it, always trying to make it better. Less cables is better for me. I really, really do not like clutter on my desk. I have one little memento thing. This is like from my house back in Michigan. Uh, I don't know, my dad got it at some conference like years and years ago, and it was just like sitting in the kitchen for so long, so I took it here in Austin, and then I put it on my desk because it just reminds me of my dad, my family my house, that kind of stuff. So I do keep that on my desk at all times. Again, like I said, I think it's important to have a little bit of personality to your setup rather than just like white minimalistic garbage. Just my opinion. But yeah, that's gonna be it for the setup. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions about anything I have here, any questions about why I did certain things or how I have certain things set up, this is like the most productive setup I've ever had in my life. It's beautiful. I even, I love the aesthetic. Everything about it is perfect for me, you know. If you have opinions, let me know in the comments down below, unless it's on the Apple Magic Keyboard Magic Mouse because you guys always hate those. They're, they're not bad. The, the Magic Mouse and Magic Keyboard, they're fine. They, they're keyboards and mice. They, that, they do their job. But yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.